Hi, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about how to increase the testosterone without any cost or without any uh, purchase or something like food or something. So, how to increase naturally testosterone without uh, any uh, purchasing of things or without any uh, aid to uh, stimulate that like testosterone booster or some other natural herbs which that like ashwagandha and other type of herb which that uh, stimulate but we are just understand in this video how to stimulate the testosterone without eating and something so basically uh, you can uh, think about that the testosterone is the fat soluble so the fat soluble steroid which that pass directly into the uh, cell membrane and target to the dna for the transcription of certain protein because the testosterone is very important for the synthesis of that protein which that is important for the deep voice and musculine strength of the bone and strength of the muscle even the beard and hairs throughout your body so in this way the testosterone is very important to boo, uh, stimulate uh, look like a muscular when the testosterone will increase so the testosterone is two types the dihydrotestosterone and testosterone the dihydrotestosterone is the active form which that target to the secondary sexual character like beard and muscle etc so how to increase the testosterone without eating so just learn about that Number one important thing is that intermittent fasting. So this is the important uh, 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 source for increase the testosterone. How? So remember that things if the skinny person or if without fat, so the uh, human contain every time in any situation fat adipose tissue. It can be a less amount of adipose tissue or more. If more, it means lead to obesity or if decrease so less obesity so in this way the adipose tissue contain triacylglycerol in the form of storage as a storage of energy whenever you will go into the fasting even the intermittent fasting so in this way the lipids will uh, basically uh, 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 insulin will drop so the insulin uh, decreasing will lead to increase the growth hormone this is the alternate form of the anabolism but remember that thing the growth hormone will burn fat while the insulin will stimulate to lipogenesis the increase the adipose tissue increase the fat so this is the a major uh, dissimilarity and a, a lot of see dissimilarity but the growth hormone is important for, for that things so in this way the um, testosterone which that is basically uh, uh, we are understanding so in this way the lipids um, break down due to the hormone sensitive lipase enzyme which that trigger through growth hormone and the growth hormone trigger through fasting so the fasting is too much important and in this way the lipolysis will occur due to the growth uh, insulin uh, basically hormone sensitive lipase enzyme so in this way the uh, increase of the triacylglycerol and free fatty acid uh, triacylglycerol into the free fatty acid and glycerol the glycerol and um, free fatty acid enter into the blood circulatory system and target to the liver even and when target to the liver the uh, due to the low density lipoprotein increase during the fasting but it is normal and go into the hepatocyte in the liver Hepatocyte contains scavenger receptors. Scavenger receptors squinch the uh, uh, low density lipoprotein and enter that low density lipoprotein into the uh, hepatocyte. But the, in this way, the cholesterol is more, lipid is more, while the protein is less. And these lipids basically triacylglycerol and free fatty acid, as well as the other type of basically, uh, you can think about that. That globular structure of the uh, LDL, which that break and uh, break down, and uh, after the broken down, this uh, LDL containing um, products, which that produce the um, free fatty acid, and this free fatty acid go with the process is known as the cholesterol synthesis. In this way, the HMG CoA enzyme is used for the synthesis of the cholesterol in this way, the liver produce more cholesterol during the fasting 
so that it means that cholesterol will produce more so for female also the cholesterol produce more but the female uh, is the different topic we will discuss in the different video so in this way the uh, that cholesterol is used for the uh, cell fluidity and the maintenance of the cell membrane and the maintenance uh, and health of the cell on the other hand the cholesterol is also used as a waste for the uh, emulsification of fat due to the bile acid production but the cholesterol also enter into the blood circulatory system and go into the kidney for lady cell uh, uh, to synthesize of the uh, lady cell to synthesize of the uh, uh, testosterone so in this way the lady cell important for the uh, conceiving of the luteinizing hormone whenever the pituitary gland release the hormone luteinizing hormone during the fasting so the luteinizing hormone will increase so the luteinizing hormone will target to the lady cell of the testes which that contains seminiferous tubule remember uh, of the testes which that contains sperms so the spermatocytes spermatogenesis will occur here but the lady cell is important for the spermatogenesis but the secondary sexual character this is the primary sexual character is the spermatogenesis so anyhow this basically will go into the uh, into the uh, lady cell the luteinizing hormone and the cholesterol will enter into the lady cell and it is convert uh, from cholesterol into the testosterone and dihydrotestosterone so the story will end up here so let next understand about that what is the target of the testosterone so the testosterone basically target directly into the nucleus and enter into the nucleus even will bind the dna by the uh, steroid binding protein so the steroid binding protein as a transcriptional factor so in this way the in the cytoplasm containing a binding protein this is known as a testosterone binding protein will bind will lead to activate as a transcription factor but sometime uh, another transcription factor will bind so whenever this fasting state which that improve and increase the uh, efficiency of the testosterone use how it means uh, uh, we can boost this testosterone further and consume that testosterone if we will not consume this testosterone it will convert into the estrogen due to the aromatase enzyme activity in the sperms in the sperm tail and other the basically uh, high testosterone will convert into the uh, estrogen which that will lead to cause uh, male uh, male problem so you can hypermestia and other problem can arise but remember that things the without conversion of estrogen uh, you can consume the testosterone due to the exercise when this testosterone consumption mean when you will go into the gym you will break your muscle when you will break your muscle so the again repair system during the recovery time the recovery time the repairing of the broken myofibril which that required the testosterone why because the testosterone will as a transcriptional factor will bind with the dna of the cell uh, uh, and bind with a certain site of the gene will lead to activate that gene and that gene is important for the synthesis of further uh, protein what is the protein it can be amylosin and actin titin troponin and a lot more things which that is important for the contraction of the muscle and the next day you will see the improvement if you are going with the fasting and hard exercise fasting hard exercise you will improve the testosterone so that is the major reason i hope you make sense about that if you like my video please make sure to subscribe and like and share uh, and this uh, video was um, uh, about the testosterone boosting mechanism naturally without any eating 
so in this way the exercise and fasting is important to boost the testosterone easily that is important things you should need to understand so basically don't use the injection don't use the anabolic steroid but uh, grow your own muscle through testosterone naturally produce because the exogenously injection will not work long time because the internal uh, physiology can be disrupted and internal physiology when disrupted which that will lead to cause many many problems so don't do that it is basically a drug and when you will consume one time drug it requires more so that is not a good thing so remember uh, naturally produced is okay and good healthy but the, uh, uh, unnaturally it is um, uh, abusive things so thank uh, uh, it, it is not a bad um, it is uh, not a good things and it is bad habit so remember that things and in this way um, uh, you should uh, change your life through a fasting and exercise heart training which that will lead to give the success for the production of testosterone so remember check that things if you uh, like to uh, boost the testosterone so go to the gym do fasting and hard exercise will lead to increase the testosterone uh, you will think about that it is slow process but work uh, positively 100% guarantee from my side so because uh, um, I am uh, understanding you the uh, science of the testosterone production so that is important things so I hope you make sense and clear that concept and see in the next video for this and bye Allah Hafiz